So now you're able to hopefully get into what I would consider to be a pretty decent catch position. We're going to be nice and controlled, kind of putting our feet where they need to go when we're doing our squats. Now, I want you to now, I told you last time, memorize that position. I want you to know what it feels like, get into it any old time we want you to. Now, I need you to learn how to jump down, as the great Joe Mills once said, or just kind of drop into that position. So Joe Mills was an, a legendary weightlifting coach from uh, Rhode Island, and the guy was hilarious. I think he got asked to coach a team that went to Russia, but he didn't take the job because he didn't like vodka. So anyway, we're going to use his jump down kind of phraseology here. So what I want you to do is stand with your hands on your hips, even though we're not going to clean with our hands on our hips, just for this drill, hands on hips, drop right into that same position that we worked on last week. So again, here's what we worked on last week, some full squats into just some little mini partials, hold the position, hold the position. Now. Feet are going to be the stance that they're at when we're doing our, uh, you know, pulls, upright rows, all that kind of stuff. Hands are on hips. Drop right into that position. Now, I don't want you jumping up in the air. What I'm doing is this. Number one, my feet are going to come apart a little bit wider. That's going to be a whole other thing to talk about later on. Some weightlifters have very, some of their feet don't move that much. A lot of people do. Most of us, I would say for the most part, actually have you know, our, our regular shrug pulling stance and our feet are going to ultimately end up where they go when we squat, okay? Sometimes you see people catching a, a power clean a little bit too wide with their feet like that and they have to do that. No problem until it gets really heavy. But again, if it becomes a squat clean or something like that, you want to have your feet where they belong when you're squatting in case you end up pretty low. So we don't want to have any of that kind of stuff happening. So here's where our feet are for the first three lessons. This is my squat position. So that's how we do it. Now, my feet are going to come apart. That's going to make me go a little bit lower. The other thing is, I'm just pulling my, my knees up. I'm flexing at the hips a little bit. So, if that's how far I pull my, my foot up. That's how much lower I'm going to go. So, I'm just dropping down. Just dropping down like that, but replicating the catch position we worked on last week. So, hands are on hips. Feet are in my pull position. And I'm just going to just do that. Just footwork. Again, get your arms up. Pretend you're catching the bar. But we now know how to kind of receive a bar when we want to. Now I need you to be able to jump or drop down, whatever Joe Mills said, jump down. Just drop into that nice catch position we worked on last week, but with a little bit more something behind it. Okay, so just a quick demonstration to, again, show you how what we're talking about applies to the actual power clean. I'm going to do a real light hand clean, but I'm going to kind of pause in my catch position. And if it's light, as this is, I shouldn't have to make any adjustments, okay? Like when you see people sort of like catching it a little forward, doing that, making adjustments with their foot, we know something's a little bit off positionally, okay? If you meet the bar exactly where you want to meet it, the bar is exactly where you want it to be, you should be able to, you know, especially when it's light, just kind of hold there without having to make any kind of body adjustments. So here we go. Right here. No, I'll go sideways actually for one. holding it right here. Now when you see something's off, you'll see this kind of stuff. So get our feet where we need them to be. See you next week for part whatever, six maybe? Part six.